Hello everyone, my name is Sujit and in this video we will learn how to shoot HDR images on your Theta Z1 camera and edit them in Lightroom CC. We will go in step by step process starting from beginner, intermediate up to the advanced level so that you can create amazing pictures too. So let's get started. Connect your camera through Wi-Fi with your smartphone or tablet. Open the app, go to the option settings and select HDR rendering. Before you take a shot, select the range tool in the top and set the self timer to 5 seconds or 10 seconds to get enough time to pause or to run and hide. EV, depending on your location and situation, set the EV value for bright and sunny day, go to negative and for dark situations or not well lit location, go to positive. I would suggest take 2-3 to three shots until you get comfortable with these settings. Copy the images to your device and edit in Theta Plus app. Once you are happy with the reframing, save the image. Let's move on to edit the image in Lightroom. If you are opening the app for the first time, create a free account and add your image. You will notice that there are some tools locked and available only to full version. The locked tools are Geometry, Healing, Selective Masking. I will switch back to full version for this tutorial. Let's start with our basic color correction. I always hit auto button to get my first starting point. Now let's set the exposure, temperature and vibrancy for our image and a little bit of clarity, texture and vignette too. So this is the basic quick edit I do in all my shots. Now let's move on to the intermediate step for adding more details to the image. In this step, I will start adding selective masking adjustments where I feel I need more details to pop the interesting parts of the image. As you can notice, I am getting more detail in the sky this is just because I have a great dynamic range in this image. Next, I am increasing the brightness of the pillars. My face and adding some clarity to my eyes as well. So that's the second step, now let's move on to last and final advanced step. In this step, I will work with curves and individual colors for getting more interesting looks. You can go crazy with the colors and create your own style and flavor for your images. Let's create a mask and invert it to work with exposure, clarity, saturation without affecting or changing my face. This step I am doing to add my custom vignette as we have already used the default one in the first step. Here I am going more detail by adding highlights by brush masking too on the interesting part of the rocks to stand out more. As our light source is ocean, I felt like adding more light on the ceiling just to give more sense of light source. So that's it. This was my last and final step. I hope this was a useful tutorial for you guys. If you like this video, hit that like button, do subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out the next video and until then see you in the next one.